do you take supplements? You're not the only one. A lot of people do, but do they actually work? Well, many can actually take a toll on your body in the long run. Fox's Dina Santafanti is talking about the possible risks. In HealthWorks, it seems like there is a supplement solution for every problem. Obesity, muscle aches, joint pain, hormonal disruptions. But doctors warn these easy to come by pills may be really hard on your liver. Listen to this. There are more than 80,000 herbal and dietary supplements available on the market with sales passing $50 billion in 2023. Experts from the University of Michigan say around 15 million Americans are regularly taking these herbal supplements that in some cases can damage the liver. The study focused on supplements like turmeric, green tea, and ashwagandha. So as practice hepatologists, we have seen patients with liver damages that because they were taking these uh, supplements and some cases were fatal, like required liver transplantation. And we have found that millions of Americans are taking these supplements and they are not aware about the ingredients that could potentially damage the liver. The University of Michigan team says a key issue is that herbal and dietary supplements are not regulated by the FDA like pharmaceuticals. The labels can be misleading. In another study, researchers found that a supplement's actual ingredients matched what the label said only half the time. My sense is, is that the average American doesn't realize that when they go to the supermarket or health food store and purchase these because they have nice uh, attractive labels, they have ingredients listed on the side of them just like medications and so you get a bit confused if you will as a consumer of these products and you don't know that they haven't been tested for safety or efficacy. So what should you do? You don't have to give up on your supplements, but make sure your doctors know what you're taking. As a physician, we frequently find that patients don't share with us over-the-counter products they're taking, and that may be for a variety of reasons. Some people are somewhat embarrassed to, to tell us that they're taking something not prescribed by their doctor. Uh, other people forget and they don't think of them as uh, products that potentially could cause um, side effects. Cases of liver injury from taking supplements are very rare, so you should know that. But if you are taking them, it is important to share that information with your doctor. That's HealthWorks. I'm Dina Santafanti.